I'm joined today by Cameron Murray, Director of Marketing for MDC Vacuum Products. Cameron, thank you for participating in this interview. Yeah, thank you, Brooks. I'm happy to, to be doing it with you. <laughs> yeah, you bet. So let's get right to it. Um, tell us about MDC Vacuum Products. Like, what do you guys make? Um, <laughs> where do you sell them? Tell us about the business. Okay, yeah, MDC Vacuum Products has uh, been around since 1975, and uh, they're a manufacturer of vacuum technology uh, components uh, for scientific uh, research industries, as well as uh, semiconductor and electronics processing. Um, their parts are, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a fascinating industry that they're in. Um, and all these uh, types of products go into creating a vacuum environment, which is um, pressure levels that are equivalent to outer space. Uh, so very low pressure um, and uh, pure backgrounds uh, that scientists can use to uh, progress physics research, like high energy physics experiments at uh, particle accelerators or synchrotrons around the world, like CERN is, is uh, the biggest in Switzerland. And then um, also companies uh, like uh, LAM Research, Applied Materials, Intel, that are making semiconductor uh, wafer tools and chips. Um, and uh, so MDC makes uh, hardware. They uh, manufacture custom vacuum chambers that go to high and ultra high vacuum levels, as well as all of the other uh, bits and pieces and components needed to uh, build yourself a vacuum system. Wow, definitely a specialized category of, <laughs> yes. of manufacturing. Wow. Nice, well, thanks, thanks for sharing that part and what the business is all about. I'm really curious to know like how you were doing your marketing before you became a VBout client. Yeah, so before VBout, um, it was, uh, we were kind of using MailChimp uh, first, just by itself uh, to handle email marketing campaigns. Um, but that didn't really allow us to do much as far as social media and, uh, and you know, programming uh, campaign posts in advance. And it doesn't, didn't really have any calendar features there to, to use it like that. And we really uh, needed um, something to help us with our CRM um, because we didn't have a, an internal CRM uh, program in our ERP. So uh, when I came across Bebout and heard from Rich, uh, I was really impressed with the tool and that it would allow us to really have a central location to manage all of our marketing campaigns, uh, email blasts, social media, and then the additional um, landing pages that we could create with the account. And, uh, and also, you know, the pop-ups and call to actions, um, those were all great to have. And then also just a, a system to store our complete contact database and then also be able to uh, track our leads and see where they go on our website and watch them uh, go through the sales funnel. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you were using MailChimp. Was there any other technology that you had to kind of fill out everything <laughs> you just described? Yeah, so it was like MailChimp, uh, Excel sheets that we were working from, uh, and then of course just manually doing social media posts through each of the individual networks and oh. the accounts uh, that we managed. Uh, so a lot of manual labor went into it, and then uh, collecting of data from all the social media accounts too, because we wanted to be able to report to senior management on uh, the progress of the campaigns and the results we got. And so we'd actually have to go into each social network and look up the, the stats for, you know, that particular week or month and then uh, jot all those down into a master spreadsheet and uh, track it that way. So it was all very manual labor intensive. Um, oh, yeah, that's intense. That's intense. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, so time definitely was not being used efficiently. Um, mm -hmm. In that process, um, connectivity of data, different systems, different processes. Um, wow, was there like an event or like an incident that motivated you to say like enough is enough with this approach? <laughs> we, like we have to start looking for a better way. 
Yeah, so, well, I came into MDC in 2016, um, and they hadn't been doing much with their marketing for quite some time. Uh, there was kind of a void in the marketing department. Yep. And so uh, when I came on board, I was really starting from scratch on a lot of things and uh, putting everything together. So for the first, you know, six months of 2016 that I was with them, it was uh, a lot of work and working on the brand and, and actually gathering all this content in our contact list and starting to use MailChimp for the email marketing. And then uh, come 2017, it was just like, okay, it's the start of the year. We have a you know new uh, marketing plan that we're putting together, presenting to senior management. I really need um, a tool to allow me to manage all this in one place. Now that I've uh, gotten all the content and all the contact lists together, how do I uh, best utilize all these different resources we have and manage it from a central location? And uh, so then, um, you know, I was look, already looking into it and familiar with some of the other platforms out there like HubSpot, um, but not, uh, not that impressed with them and just felt like what uh, their pricing, you know, they charge a lot more and, and especially other systems like Marketo. Um, and, you know, we didn't have a big budget to work with. So when I got a call from Rich, which was kind of out of the blue, I was uh, pleasantly surprised. You know, at first I thought, Oh, just another sales call. Um, I don't know how this is going to go, but then talking to him, I was impressed. And then we had a demo meeting of the platform and then I, I really was uh, uh, wowed by it. So, um, and then at the, the cost, it was just something that I had to at least try out. And, uh, you know, he gave me the free trial and it worked so well that I, I went forward with it. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So how many different tools did you look at or evaluate during that time? Uh, probably like three to five different ones out there. Um, yeah, and I was being, I had already been contacted by quite a few that, you know, as soon as you're known as the marketing contact at a company, the uh, sales guys out there from all these different companies come come to you. <laughs> so I did yeah. have to uh, do a, a lot on my own to find them first. And I already knew given <clears throat> my previous marketing background about a lot of them. Uh, but it can be a challenge kind of evaluating and really seeing um, uh, who's going to give you the most bang for your buck and, yep. uh, and actually help you uh, with your account. And, you know, yep. customer service is always important too. You know, it's yep. like, you know, I, I'm, I was doing it on my own. I was like the only one in the marketing department at that time. And it's like, how do I, you know, I need a partner more than just a, a software. Um, I need a, a company that will work with me and offer advice and support. And I really found that to be the case with, with Vbout. Nice. So you did the trial, right? Yeah. Yeah. And did you like really roll up your sleeves and, and try it out? Like, yeah, I did. Yeah. I, I got to work on that immediately and uh, did some test campaigns and, uh, and was really impressed by the ability to track our, our visitors on the website and then how we were able to tie it into our e-commerce uh, site and actually see a visitor go through all the steps that led to a checkout and then uh, an actual order being submitted. And, and that right there just really uh, impressed me quite a bit where I was like, okay, this is a tool that I really need to have. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm so glad you shared that because that's always like the last mile problem that so many people marketing online forget about when they're looking at these systems is it's, it's fine to measure top of the funnel, <clears throat> but if you can tie that to the cash register, like you just described, yeah, that's such a win. Yeah, definitely. And then, um, you know, using it more and more in the future after that, uh, like when we did new uh, product launches, we could actually see, uh, how the, the new products were performing on the website and uh, and which uh, of our existing customers or contacts in our database were going to the new product pages and checking them out. And then the ones that led to actual orders uh, from our email campaigns that we used Vbout to put out there. And then uh, it was really impressive, impressive to see that we could actually see some customers placing orders for these new parts and, uh, you know, that of course is great information to share with uh, the CEO and uh, he was very pleased with that. That was a good one for me, for sure. <laughs> yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Cool, so um, one question I'm really curious about is, what was your 
experience of like the user experience in the platform? Because you said you had looked at other tools and of course yeah. since your background, you've used other ones. So can you talk a little bit about like what the, the usability of VBout was like for you? Yeah. Um, you know, it, it was great compared to other systems I've worked with. And uh, I, I've even done free trials of HubSpot and uh, some of the other programs out there. And a lot of them are <clears throat> a little too clunky and uh, have um, aren't the easiest to navigate. Um, and I was really impressed with like the simplicity of the VBOW uh, platform layout and how uh, the menu is really easy to navigate, very straightforward and simple. Uh, easy to find what you're looking for. And then um, even within uh, creating email campaigns, uh, it tended to be easier to use than MailChimp uh, as MailChimp didn't allow us to be as creative as VBout did. Uh, I really liked the ability to really edit anything in the email campaigns and add whatever we wanted. And then um, that same with the social media campaigns that we did, uh, it was really easy to use that and post across all of our networks. Uh, we, you know, we're trying to be active on on all the major ones out there, and it really uh, helped us support us with that. And then when I um, did finally get to bring in a, a, a marketing specialist to join my team, um, he caught on to using it really quickly because of how easy and simple it was to use. So. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you for for clarifying that. So yeah. For somebody watching this, if they don't understand, like when you say it was easy compared to something else that you were doing, what would be super helpful is to talk about the automations. Cause I know that you were mm -hmm. using automations uh, quite a bit and like mm -hmm. that's, there's, there's email and then there's automations and then there's those two things together. So can you share the experience that you had using that? and how it helped mm. yeah yeah definitely um yeah so uh when certain calls to actions were completed on our website it was really cool to be able to then um have those uh engage with the customer and and uh you know we could send automated emails to them thanking them for you know filling out a form or downloading a drawing or something like that yeah. and uh and so it uh, allowed us to do the things that normally would be a lot of manual work and emailing directly to these customers individually. Um, so this way, just kind of uh, make sure that everyone that was engaging with us, all these leads that were already coming to us, were getting responses from us as well. Because I, I think we weren't really capturing that before using VBout. So uh, definitely, those automations were extremely helpful to use. Um, and then when we we put like a few pop-ups on the website, like. If somebody visited a certain page, they'd see a pop up for a related product that was similar, like a new product that uh, was complementary to the one they were looking at. And so we were able to kind of uh, upsell a lot of customers by using that. And then, um, of course, the, uh, the simple subscriber pop up worked really well to get uh, a lot more people to join our list. And um, so it was quite successful. Yeah, you had pretty significant list growth, if I recall, after implementing Vivo, right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, you know, I, I think previously, just with our simple subscribe form uh, from MailChimp that was on the site, that one wasn't really performing well. I mean, it, um, you know, it's harder to get somebody to fill out one of those when it's not front and center and it's not uh, engaging with them. Uh, so we were only getting maybe um, a few, like, uh, maybe five to 10 a month. And then when we were using the VBout uh, subscription pop-up, uh, it, it turned into like th 30 a month or more. Like we were at least getting one a day um, or sometimes a couple a day that we're signing up, which was great. Um, so we were able to grow our list and get uh, more of those anonymous visitors that were on our site to become known visitors that we were able to um, uh, track and uh, measure the results from uh, from that lead. So you said three to 30 per day? Uh, 30, uh, it was like three to 10 a month before, and then it was okay. a month after, okay. yeah, using VBout and sometimes more. It, it, I think there are a few months where it did so well, it was maybe 50 a month. Um, okay. So that, that was really good uh, to see that work for us. Awesome. Can you think of any other tangible benefits or intangible benefits of, of using VBOAT since you installed? 
Yeah, um, I mean, it, it, it was an excellent way to gather reports uh, that we could then share in our quarterly business review meetings and really streamline that process. Since before we were having to collect all the data manually from all the different social networks on the website, we were just able to uh, funnel it all into one place and uh, you know, that saved us quite a bit of time and was really helpful. And being able to you know, export the reports is really nice too. That's a great feature. And then um, uh, we learned a lot more about our customers as well uh, and what their needs are, uh, what they uh, you know, tended to do after they received an email blast, uh, Whereas before we weren't sure as much, you know, you could see uh, where people clicked and, and MailChimp, which links they were going to, but VBout takes it to a whole nother uh, step where you're actually seeing all the steps they take after they've uh, engaged with your email. Um, so it allowed us to be a lot more successful in uh, how we created those email blasts and, and allowed us to get uh, creative and kind of do it differently than we were doing in the past. Nice, awesome. Man, yeah. so powerful. Thank you for your time on this interview and for sharing how you guys are using Vboat. If anybody wants to find out more about MDC, where can they find you guys? Uh, at mdcvacuum.com. And then uh, we're on all of the major social networks, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, just at MDC Vacuum. Awesome. Yeah. Great. Cameron, thanks again for your time today and uh, look forward to keeping in touch. Thank you for being here. All right, sounds good, Brooks. Thank you. All right, take care. All right, you too. Thanks. Bye. Bye.